I'm back and I have a couple of little sponge holders. They're the same, almost the same size. Uh, last night I had a wee bit of clay left and I didn't want to get out anymore because I was about to quit for the day. And so I just made these little things there. You can make them with a half a pound. Uh, some of the mugs that I make are fairly large and they're about a uh, one and a quarter pound like the ones that you just saw and so um, I'm going to show you now how I cut the the little slits in the sponge holder I have a hole cutter that's a piece of brass that's cut off at an angle and it's kind of sharp right here on the angle and so I determine first the opposite sides. So I want to hold this, and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not measuring like with a ruler or anything. But I just want to make sure I'm getting the, the little slit opposite. So where are my marks? Yeah, there's one mark and there's another mark. So hopefully you can see that, what I'm doing. You can take anything and mark your... So I'm gonna just put a little mark there. I could use this. Actually, this works better because I can use it for making a little mark. Okay, so there's, there's my mark. Bing, bing. I'm just going to... Uh, take the hole cutter and eyeball where so I, I believe that, that that little mark right there is directly below the mark that I made up here. So I don't want to go too low when I shove that in there because I need a little bit of space in the bottom of the um, a sponge holder in order to have a place uh, for the water to drip or whatever and um, to hold the sponge up off of the bottom. Because the idea is to let the thing dry out, right? So I'm going to put my hole cutter right there and I'm going to turn it just a little bit to get a hole in the side of that. Ta-da! So now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Oh, wouldn't that make a cute little bird uh, house type thing for a finch? I think that's all it could get in there, if it could get in there. Well, I don't know. After it's after it's fired, it may not be big enough. So, online you can uh, check if you're making bird houses. You can check on. Uh, you can look up how. So what I'm looking at over here is I'm looking to see how far from the bat I, I went up to put that. So that's uh, about that far. So we'll do this over here and we'll put that, put that in right where our little mark is and we'll twist and put a little pressure on it so it twists and goes in. So there you go. So there's the two holes. Now we're going to no we don't need that anymore so we set that over there so now with something sharp like a, a fettling knife or whatever you have you're going to make a design let me draw one because i can't do this without Let's see, do you want to draw one? You're gonna draw a graceful little, you want this thing to be able to hang on to the, to the sponge. You don't want the sponge just flopping around in there because it won't uh, stay. So if you do a little, nice little design, just like this, I kind of got over a little bit, but something like that is what you're gonna cut out. So let me draw on the other side. And ta -da. Okay, so I have it on both sides. 
So now, these are, mm, I'd say leather hard. They're kind of firm. Whoops. You know, if you have a whoops, it's okay. It's just clay. If it's a real disaster, you can just do it again. Start over, wad it up, put it in the scrap pile, recycle it, and move on with your life. It is not the end of the world if you screw something up, right? Just look how many things have been screwed up in the world and we're still here, so. Try to get this where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. And so I'm just gonna, I start at the hole so that I have a place to poke the sharp object in there. Now the first cut, you'll be able to put some pressure on it. This one, it's already loose over here, so you're gonna have to reinforce that with your hand and take that out of there. So now you can correct any little, you know, places that you don't like. If it's uh, out of whack, you can sort of correct that with your sponge. So let's, let's see what we've got here. Now I like to raise that sponge off the ground of this little thing. And you can, this is optional, so you can do it or not do it. And, and I'll show you here with these scraps. This would be a good use for some of the little tiny scraps. And then roll it up into a kind of a snake or a big caterpillar. Let's put it into a caterpillar. Get a little water on it. Get all the pieces mashed together so that you're not gonna have little openings in the clay because you don't want that on those little it, what, what we're making is a little um, a little riser we're making a riser okay for the sponge so the thing that you just cut off you're gonna make it into a little riser we can't say the other word Everybody knows what these are, but we can't say it because do you know what? My video will be taken down because an algorithm doesn't like that word. Or maybe it does, I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation with the YouTube stuff. Okay, so actually this is a little too wet to be sponging off right now. And so I'm gonna let it sit up a little more, but these little risers are gonna go right in there when we get finished uh, with it. And I'm talking about kitchen sponges because um, for what, what people use for kitchen sponges, but let's put this, so the sponge goes in there and it just sits on top of that. And that way air can circulate around the entire thing and um, and you don't have a stinky smelly sponge and then when you're finished you'll want to put when you're all finished and you've got the entire you just want to make sure you have it round and that you haven't knocked these sides out of place so you just put that on there and make sure you've got that okay i'm going to do the other one now make a little mark Go straight down from there and make a mark right there. Go straight down from this one. Make a little mark right there. Maybe it'll be over here. <laughs> okay, so now we'll take our little uh, pipe with the sharp slant. And we'll just take a plug out. We'll use that to make little risers out of. And then do the same thing over here. And take the little plug out of there. So then before we make our little risers, we will 
actually one of those would make a riser big enough for this one. This one's kind of small. So these are just little things that, you know, when people can't make up their mind what they want to buy, throw, throw one of these in for free and, and you might just seal the deal. Uh, people love to get a little free gift and these you know all you have in it is almost the labor because they're small and they don't take up a lot of room in the kiln don't take a lot of glaze um, so easy to do here are the little risers for that one so let's um let's do this and we'll cut We'll draw our line. First, draw your line so you'll know where you're going. Kind of like a map, right? So you'll know where you're going. It doesn't take long to make. Uh, and they're cute. People like them. People love them. So when this uh, gets a little bit firmer, I'll put the little riser right in there. And I'll... I'll sponge off everything and I'll I'll round off those little corners and uh, put the rounder on it to make sure that I haven't completely mutilated the top of it and it'll be good to go there's this and it's ready to set out and let dry because and then, then I can sponge it off a little more after that. I'm gonna use my hair dryer here to um, dry this a little bit so I can go ahead and finish it. I'm gonna take the corners down on here just to, uh, and there's a little, I've got one of these kind of raspy things. Uh, it came on something that was bigger than this, but I broke it and this was the piece that I decided to keep because it's small enough that I can just take it in my hand and, and alter pieces like that. Can you see the difference between this one? Between this, this side and this side? So let's do this side. It takes, it takes it's a very um, subtractive thing so you can get rid of some spots quickly. And with the clay being this wet, I'm having to be very careful. Usually you don't have to be this careful with this thing because, but it will do, it'll do the trick in just no time flat. I mean, it really makes short order of, so it, this is kind of rough and uh, at the beginning and then you just kind of sponge it off and you got your shape. And so there's stuff inside there well that may never come out but because <laughs> it's too sticky so we'll just concentrate on the on this part right now so I'm looking for symmetry here and um, balance to, I don't want one side to be way different from the other side. If it's not perfect, I don't think anybody's going to be too upset, but so there's, whoops, there it is all kind of cleaned up and, and uh, ready to, ready to stick these little guys on there. So. These are the little risers that I was telling you about. It. You want smooth uh, lines or smooth edges on the inside of this because this is going to need to be kept clean. And the fewer little crooks and crannies that you have where germs can build up and dirt can build up, you want to you want to make this cleanable, easy to clean, and easy to, to keep it good and clean. I like clean things. It's funny what I play in the mud, and I like clean things. Speaking of playing in the mud, 
I think I was born with this because when I was a little kid, I wanted to play always with cars and trucks. And this was very disconcerting to my parents because I guess I was, I was, and I've seen pictures, I was a cute little girl. And I was not the one that you would expect be playing with cars and trucks. But, and okay, so what I did was just put uh, some, I scratched that up, scratch and slip, and I scratched this little deal, the little riser, and I put some slip on here. And I'm just gonna stick it, I'm gonna with both fingers just stick it on there. And if it sticks out beyond the edge of this, the profile of it, that is, let me make that more round. Actually, that one's not very round. Here we go. Now let's scratch, scratch a surface on it. Um, anyway, where was I? Okay, so we're gonna put that right in there. But I was the I was the cute little girl. I had uh, you would expect me to have been very uh, prim and proper, but I had no use for prim and proper. I mean, I learned how to be prim and proper because of the way I was raised, but. I played in the dirt outside all the time um, and I made little roads I had little cars and trucks and, and I made I had a I had one that had a it was a it was a car that had a trailer on it and we're talking about toys little toys that would fit in the hand of a five-year-old so my lip oops I forgot to put slip on there so my little my little toys had a little toy car with a little toy trailer and a little toy boat that went to it that you could balance on that little um, trailer So I took a dish pan out of the kitchen or a bowl or something and I buried it in the ground so so that the water in the bowl would be even with the terrain that I was making my little roads out of. And so I could back my little car up with the trailer and unload my boat into the lake. That was the bowl that my mother did not appreciate that I took from the house. And I had some spoons and knives and other things that I managed to get out with. And I made, that's what I dug holes with. And I thought they were pretty handy. I mean, the tools, <laughs> the silverware, the whatever it was. Oh my goodness, I had a ball and I loved playing in the dirt. And so it is no wonder that I love to do this because it's it's as responsive to my hand as that dirt was when I was a little kid. And for some reason, I was very attracted to just cars and trucks and making dirt roads and I made a whole city, I made a little neighborhood. You could go visit, take your little car and your boat and go pick up your friends and take them to the lake with you or the ocean or whatever that was. And it was great fun. Okay, I think maybe I have that pretty much done. So this, so I've got the most of it done. So the only thing I have to do now is uh, wait until it's dry. Wait, let's round it up. Wait until it's dry and then sponge it off one more time. So I'm gonna, even if you don't have this thing level, it's still round because 
of the shape of it. So I'm kind of pinching these in and making sure that I didn't get the little corners out of out of shape. So that's pretty good if you can, I don't know if you can see that. So that's pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Take care. Be safe. Love you. Bye-bye.